Hello and welcome back to the Chaps Guide, the channel where we talk about men's grooming, style and product reviews. And today I'd like to talk to you about a pair of shoes which is iconic, versatile and the must-have pair of shoes in every man's wardrobe. Of course that is the Black Capto Oxford and today I'm joined by a pair of Sanders Black Capto Oxfords as my special guest to prove the point. So why is it that the Black Capto Oxford should be such an important shoe in every man's collection? And I guess it's because it is iconic, it can be worn with so many other clothes, so many other colours, and it's just such a useful, practical pair of shoes for you to own. But before we talk about the shoe itself, let's just talk about where it came from and its history. And to a degree, its history is lost a bit in the mist of time. What we do know is that the shoe, or certainly the name Oxford, comes from a, a shoe which came into being through the famous Oxford University in England, where there was a strict dress, dress code and the young chaps who were being schooled there uh, had to wear you know, high boots, what we would refer to as sort of checkery type boots in the modern era, dress boots. Uh, and as a sort of move towards informality, they started wearing a shoe which had this sort of style with the closed lacing mechanism, as we see, is endemic of all Oxford shoes. Uh, and hence, because of they became popular within Oxford University, they started to take on this term of Oxfords. And that uh, persists to this day. Oxford refers to the lacing style on a pair of shoes rather than any other of its characteristics. And when I say the lacing style, you'll note that all Oxford shoes have closed lacing. That means that it's sewn into the shoe, so that the lacing mechanism is sewn there rather than uh, sewn on top of the shoe. So the closed lacing mechanism refers to Oxford shoes. And yeah, so that's where they sort of came into being. Since that time, of course, the Oxford shoe has been the go-to shoe for pretty much all stylish men over the passage of time. And it's absolutely required wear certainly in the United Kingdom, for people who work in the professions. So for instance, lawyers, doctors, uh, anybody who, who would loosely term their business to be professional, who perhaps wears a suit, perhaps where they're in the public eye, more than likely they will be wearing a pair of Oxford shoes. That's because they are, you know, just so, uh, enigmatic of the well-dressed and smart chap. And there's a number of reasons for that. So if you're a person starting out in the smartness world, in the chap world, and you're thinking about investing in a new pair of shoes, a pair of shoes that you'll be able to wear across the widest breadth of your wardrobe, the black cap to Oxford should be the first shoe on your shopping list. And there is a number of very good reasons for that. Firstly, it's universally accepted. You know, this is the style of shoe, which I think is the the, the sort of benchmark for shoes which are more formal, less formal. I think actually the Oxford is just about as formal as most men wear, unless you're going beyond into the whole cut world. But in reality, most people, the height of their formality level will be the Oxford shoe. Also, the black element of it is important because of that versatility. So black means it goes very well with somber, subtle suits. So for instance, the charcoal greys, which are very, very popular uh, with people who work in professions, the navy blues, all of these other permutations of those colours, different greys, different blues, they all blend very nicely with the black of the shoe. So the black cap to Oxford is able to be worn across so much of the man's wardrobe. And it's black, the formality level means that it's useful. You can even wear it, you know, with a black tuxedo, a dinner jacket. If you, if you don't own a pair of patent leather shoes, you know, your black cap to Oxford, well polished, means that it's got you covered from going to work and also, you know, going out in the evening to those special events that you may be invited to. And it has you covered from the whole range of activities that you may encounter. So if you imagine you're going for a job interview, what shoe should you wear? The black cap to Oxford. On your wedding day, the black cap to Oxford. For important work meetings where you have to dress up to give a presentation, the black cap to Oxford. Funerals, your own or somebody else's, the black cap to Oxford. It's got you covered for the whole range. The only sort of area that you can't wear this shoe 
comfortably, I would suggest, is in the casual range. But that said, you know, if you don't have your shoes highly polished and you're, for instance, wearing dark chino or dark denim, perhaps you could even then get away with the black cap to Oxford. If it's a slightly more formal situation, perhaps you're wearing a jacket and tie, you know, certainly the black cap to Oxford has got you covered. Another area where the shoe excels is its ability to be dressed up. So, you know, you're looking here at a pair of black uh, cap to Oxfords by the British manufacturer Sanders. Now, I did a video on these shoes some time ago where I brought them up to a, a mirror shine. And we have a fabulous mirror shine on these shoes today. I haven't actually worn them since I did that video because I've got a number of black cap to Oxfords in my collection. And, uh, you know, you can see that this shoe has a beautiful shine on it and I could easily wear it in place of a patent leather shoe if I was wearing a dinner jacket or if I was going to work or if I was going to a special occasion because of that mirror shine. It really elevates the shoe above you know, the other people in the room. Uh, so you stand out from the herd in the fact that you've paid attention to your footwear. And the black act cap to Oxford makes it very easy to achieve that polish. Because it's got this clear delineation at the front of the shoe with a cap toe starts, you know, the, the end of the shoe, it gives you a great area to polish. Now, if you've got a pair of brogues, for instance, or you have a pair of um, hole cut shoes, they don't have that obvious delineation. So when you're polishing, you tend to polish beyond the extremities of where the shoe flexes. And then when you wear the shoe, you know, the, the polish will break away, it'll look scruffy, it just won't look as you want it to. But with the cap to Oxford, you have that great surface area to work with. It makes it much easier when it comes to preparing your shoes and keeping them looking great for that all important first impression and that ongoing impression that you are a person who's well dressed, pay attention to yourself and quite frankly, your chap. Now when it comes to the value proposition when you're buying a pair of shoes, you know, I would always advise certainly that if you're buying a pair of shoes that's going to join your, your shoe collection or if you're just new starting off and you're buying one pair of shoes that you intend to wear, you know, just with your suits a few times a year, the best advice I can give is that you pay as much as you can for that pair of shoes because shoes definitely, the value proposition is an important factor of it. So buying cheap, means that you're buying a cheap pair of shoes. Buying a little bit more expensive a pair of shoes means you tend to get more back for your money. A good quality leather shoe with a Goodyear welt, uh, which has been well constructed out of good quality leather, potentially will last you for decades with proper care and attention. Whereas if you buy something inexpensive, you know, a, a, a sort of corrected grain leather on a plastic composite sole perhaps, which uh, has been cemented onto that sole, not only will it not last you long, but when it is in your possession, it just won't look so good. You won't look so good. You will look like the guy in the room who's wearing a cheap pair of shoes. And that's the last thing that you want to put across when you're aiming to make a good impression on people and show people your best possible side. So when it comes to buying a pair of shoes, it's always best to, you know, to spend as much as you reasonably can on that pair of shoes. But the beauty of the black cap to Oxford is that it is universally out there in all the shoe manufacturers. So every shoe manufacturer that I can think of has a black cap to Oxford within its range, within its offering to the public, because it is such an iconic and such an important shoe. Everybody will own one, everybody will want them at some stage of their lives. So every shoe manufacturer has one in the range. And uh, there's a vast amount of money that you can pay if you want to go top end, but you can get into a good pair of black Oxfords without breaking the bank. And here are some of the options which I think are worth thinking about. So if you don't have all the money in the world and you want to get into a good pair of black cap to Oxfords without breaking the bank, you, a good place to start would be the Loke Shoe Company in the UK. Now, Loke is a good heritage manufacturer. It's been around a long time and it makes several different tiers of shoe depending on the amount of money you have to spend. Um, I would only recommend going in at their higher level, which is the 1880 brand, which is uh, named after their year of founding. And the particular model which I have in mind is the Loke Aldwych shoe. It's a 
classic black cap to Oxford. It's available in a leather sole or a day-night rubber sole. Ideal if you intend to wear it in the winter time or in the summer time, you can choose the sole which suits you best. The leather sole being more formal, I would argue, uh, but actually very good value for money. Uh, 245 pounds, you can buy them brand new, but I'm sure if you shop around, you'd be able to find a pair of these shoes, you know, much cheaper than that, particularly at the sale time of year. If you live in North America, the go-to place to start is obviously Allen Edmonds. The sort of local equivalent in North America, a little bit more money. They are actually available in the UK now. You can buy them in the UK, but uh, um, Allen Edmonds make a uh, a tier of shoes called the Park Avenue. And again, this is a classic cap to Oxford. Uh, in the UK, these retail for about 362 British pounds. I don't know what they are currently in North America. Again. You know, aim not to pay full retail. You can always shop around. You can find them online for less in various department stores or sales. And if money is really a tight uh, situation for you, think about going pre-owned. Look on eBay. You can get some marvelous bargains. You know, I've made a few videos about accessing good quality shoes, black cap to Oxfords, for, for just a few pounds. And a little bit of renovation work can mean you've got a great pair of shoes, you know, for you know, just a few pounds really. So it's worth shopping around if money is not, uh, you know, freely available. If you want to step up to the middle tier, I would recommend having a look at some of the manufacturers like Carmina. Now Carmina is uh, an artisan manufacturer on the Spanish island of Mallorca. Um, Unfortunately, in my family, we have a holiday home in Mallorca, so many summers I've spent there admiring these Carmina shoes. I've never owned a pair myself, but I've handled quite a few in the stores in Mallorca, and they are fabulous quality. You can buy them on, uh, on the internet now. They've got a great website. There's a great selection, different tiers of quality you can get into depending on the amount of money you have. Uh, but just under 400 British pounds, or euros I think actually, means that you could access a great pair of black cap toe Oxfords, all leather, well constructed, much of the work being done by hand, which will last you for decades. Which when you think about it, value proposition wise, is a modest investment. Also in that mid-tier range, one of my personal favourites is the Cheney Shoe Company. Now Cheney is a company in Northamptonshire in England, the sort of global mecca for men's footwear. I visited their factory earlier this year and uh, you know, I was blown away by the quality of workmanship and heritage and tradition which is invested in those shoes there. Now Cheney uh, make a shoe called the Alfred and that's a black cap to Oxfords and it costs £380 and you know a great quality shoe which would likely last years and years and years. Well worth thinking about if you're you know in that level of thinking of investing in a pair of black Oxfords. There are so many I could go on and on uh, but the reality is you know depending on your price point is depend where you go in. I've talked about the lower and the middle end if you've got a, a, a big checkbook and you're prepared to write that check you know you can look up towards things like Gaziano and Girling where black pair of Oxfords would cost you nearly a thousand pounds and then you go into the bespoke world of uh, you know George Cleverley, John Lobb in London and you're talking in the multiples of thousands of pounds for a pair of shoes designed specifically for your foot. My recommendation you don't have to pay that you know a great pair now this pair of Sanders shoes you can buy these online today on the Sanders website and they cost 160 pounds and that's a pair of mostly hand constructed all leather shoes made in England. That is marvellous value for money and it's well worth looking into if you're thinking about buying a pair of Oxfords to go with your dressing ensemble. Now my own journey with black cap to Oxford started way way years and years ago when I was a young kid and I was in the military cadets near where I lived and uh, all the kids were wearing the black cap to Oxford shoes with the uniform and that was probably when I bought my first pair of Oxford shoes when I was probably about 14 and I have continuously owned several pairs of black Oxfords at any point in my life since that period. Um, I wear them to work occasionally, I wear them socially, uh, when I'm wearing a suit or I'm dressed appropriately, I wear them to formal occasions, to ceremonies, to events, to awards. Um, you know, you could wear these in front of royalty, you could wear them in the workplace. That is the beauty of the versatility of the black cap to Oxford. As I say, you could get away with a one shoe collection 
if these were the shoes in that collection and always in black. You might see them in brown and a lot of the manufacturers also make them in brown but start off with black then you've got any event covered and you won't go wrong. You won't be caught wrong-footed pardon the pun, uh, if you know you have a pair of these in your collection. So there we go. My recommendation, black cap to Oxfords will never see you wrong. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this chat we've had today about probably the most iconic, useful and versatile shoe that you will add to your shoe collection in the future and in the present time. Well worth thinking about it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I would invite you of course to join us here at the Chaps Guide community by clicking that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of our future material and uh, you will get to interact with us, leave a comment in the comment section below. Become a chap by you know becoming part of the Chaps Guide community. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, I bid you well, I hope you take care of yourselves and your family and we'll meet again very soon.